In this video, I'm going to be showing you guys the step-by-step -step process on how to import and upload your skip trace list into ReSimply CRM. And once you upload it into ReSimply CRM, I'm going to also be showing you guys how to add it to the dialer that's built in ReSimply CRM so you can start reaching out and calling your prospects. Once you log into your account from your dashboard, you want to go over to the left menu, scroll down to marketing, and then hit list stacking. In this list stacking area, this is where you're going to be able to upload, manage, and delete all of your property addresses that you've imported into the system. So in order for us to properly upload our list that we already have skip trace, we want to make sure that we formatted it correctly. So you want to make sure when you go get your list skip trace from whatever source that you use, I personally prefer batchskiptracing.com. Within ReSimply CRM, they have the feature for you to skip trace as well, and there's plenty of other platforms out there that you can utilize to skip trace. Um, but as far as formatting your list on Excel or Google Sheets, you want to make sure, one, that it's a CSV file, which means comma separated value file, okay? And the way that you do that is you go to File and hit Save As, right? And then once you hit Save As, you want to make sure you save as a CSV, okay? So you hit Save. Now that's the first thing you want to do. Before we get into the video, I realized that you weren't subscribed to the channel. If you can hit that like button, that helps with the algorithm so the video can be exposed to people like yourself so they can get the same value that you're about to get. Hit that subscribe button. By subscribing to the channel, that lets me know that the content that I'm providing, you are getting value and is helpful. As always, thanks for your support. Now let's get into the video. The next thing you want to do, you want to make sure you have the appropriate columns in your list, okay? so. I highlighted all the columns that you will need to have in your list. First name, last name, mailing address, mailing city, mailing state, mailing zip code, property city, property state, property address, property zip code, emails as well, phone number one, two, three, four, and five. I personally like going up to three, but if you want to upload more, you can. Three should be good enough. So now you have your list already formatted in Excel or Google Sheets, you want to get ready to upload it. So we're going to go right back to ReSimply, and we're going to go from the list stacking section, we're going to go over to Add Record, and we want to select Bulk Upload. Now that we selected Bulk Upload, we want to select Click to Browse Files. Now we have that CMV, C CSV file that we already downloaded and saved, we're going to upload that. Now this is called mapping. We want to map the columns. Basically we want to match them up, okay? So we want to match the left column with the right column, okay? Or the right column with the left column, however you want to say it, vice versa. So first name, this is the column in the spreadsheet. We want to match the first name with the first name. And the good thing about ReSimply, it pretty much does it for you already. But we just want to double check and make sure that they all are matched up. So first name, first name, last name, last name, mailing address, city, mailing state, mailing zip, property city, property state, property address, property zip, email one, email two. And the reason why I like to upload the emails is because ReSimply also has a feature in here that allows you to use drip automations, which includes sending people emails. So it's important to have those email addresses as well. Phone one, phone two, and phone three. Like I said, if you wanna upload more phone numbers, you can, but the first three are usually good. Then we're gonna hit next. Now that we're on this menu, we wanna go ahead and create a new list, right? So we wanna name our list, whatever it is that we uploaded. So for this example, I'm gonna just say Columbus, uh, can't spell right now, Columbus Vacant, and hit create. So that's gonna be the name of the list. Now I can create tags, right? So I'm gonna create a tag, vacant. I don't, already, I don't have a tag there already, so let me go ahead and create new tag. So we're gonna do vacant. And creating tags are very important to keep you organized. So you can filter through the tags within the CRM. So I highly recommend you create tags for everything that you do, list and everything else. So create tag for vacant. And we're gonna create another tag for Columbus. And that's pretty much it. These sections right here, you can select these, but I leave it as do not update because I want all of the data to be skip trace. So basically all this is just saying, either you want them to not upload something or you want them to upload something. I'm gonna just say do not update. So move on to the submit. 
Now, as you can see, this is the file based on the import log that we uploaded. And right now it's processing all of the records. So right now it's 155 records that's processing. And then these columns is gonna show you which ones are what, right? It's gonna say if these are legitimate numbers, if, it, if the number address doesn't match the USPS, um, if you already have this contact within your system already, or if it's a duplicate. And then if you go over the list, you'll see the list right here. Okay, so Columbus vacant, that's the list that we created. And then you have all of the features, the, the, the other details within that list once you call it. So give it a couple minutes to upload. It's gonna upload and you can check property addresses right here to see if they upload it. And as you can see, they majority of them already uploaded because this is Columbus, Georgia, what we're looking at. And then obviously we wanna see the record type that's complete. Okay, this one has one phone number to it. This one has three phone numbers attached to it. And then this section right here, record complete, that's what you wanna see. Sometimes you'll see something that says record incomplete for you know, whatever reason, like this example, a phone number is missing. There's no phone numbers for this particular record. Um, this one right here, invalid mailing address. Um, so those are just some things to look into once you upload your list and kind of fi fi figure out what's going on with that particular record. Um, so this one, for example, being that a phone, th there's no phone numbers to it, then I'm gonna look at this one individually and try to find a phone number or contact to this potential seller. And that's pretty much how you upload your list in list stacking um, to prepare it for the dialer. So now in order to upload it to the dialer and get ready to call and reach out to these prospects, uh, what you wanna do is you wanna hit filter, right? And you wanna hit uh, tags to include. Tags to include, select tags, Columbus. And then I can select another tag, vacant, right? And I'm gonna apply that filter. Now, all of the properties that I hit with that tag, Columbus vacant, that's what we're gonna go ahead and upload, right? So I'm gonna hit select, select all 155, right? Because that was 155 records that we chose, that we uploaded, right? So 155 records that we just uploaded with those filters, Columbus vacant, we select all 155, right? Then we go to action, go all the way down to here, hit send to dialer. And now with the send to dialer option, we can do a couple things. We can use an existing campaign, we can create a new campaign, right? I'm gonna put um, vacant. So I can put all my vacant properties in here. I can name it Columbus if I want to, right? I can assign it to a user, right? If you have multiple VAs on your account, if you have a VA uh, doing the dialing for you, you can assign it to a different user. And then you can hit uh, remove if already on a campaign and remove if it's already a lead, right? So you don't have to be calling the same properties over and over again. And then you assign it to the campaign, and then once you assign it to the campaign, it's gonna take you over to the dialer system over here in the marketing tab. Then you're gonna have your campaigns right here, and then you click it, right? And then you hit call. And then you set up your dialing campaign and your dialing options, and you hit continue. Now. I have all the steps on how to set up your dialer campaigns and everything else in another video. If you wanna see that, make sure you click the link in my description to check that video out. That's pretty much the step-by-step -step process on how to import your list into ReSimply CRM and add it to the dialer to prepare it for calling. Now, if you're interested in testing out the software, make sure you click the link in my description below to get a 14-day free trial as well as 50% off your first month. I hope this video was valuable. If so, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe to my channel for more. Until next time, keep hunting those deals, and I'll see you on the next video.